Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Recently during a screening of the first Jurassic World and Battle of Big Rock, Colin Trevorrow got to answer some questions about his work on the franchise. And one of the first questions that he was asked actually happened to be about the prices of the dinosaurs that were shown in Fallen Kingdom. If you're unfamiliar with why this would be something that pops up in a Q&A, when that movie was released, one of the biggest criticisms that people had for it was the amount of money that the auction buyers wound up paying for the animals. A lot of people believe the price is to be far too low for creatures that were one of a kind and nearly all but extinct in that film's world. Dinosaurs like the Ankylosaurus, for example, was sold for $10 million, and during the release, a good amount of people just thought that the animals were worth a lot more than that. Well, Colin Trevorrow actually addressed this criticism during the recent Jurassic World screening. And the real reason the dinosaurs were priced so low actually happened to be because of a decision that was made by that filmmaker's boss. And that man was none other than Steven Spielberg himself. Uh, I really enjoyed Fallen Kingdom. This is going to be a Fallen Kingdom question. Uh, really enjoyed that film. My only grievance with the film is I felt that the dinosaur prices at the auction were a little low. I'll, I'll, it's a true story. Uh, so Steven Spielberg, my boss, uh, felt that the dinosaur prices were really high. And so we got a note like this is, you know, they're, they're too expensive, bring them lower. Uh, and we felt, you know, I, I think to someone who's a dinosaur fan, uh, dinosaurs could not be priced high enough. They're absolutely priceless. And so I think there was something going on between like the person who brought us all of this magic has one opinion of the value of dinosaurs and may not necessarily recognize that to us, the fans, the dinosaurs uh, are, are priceless. Okay. That's my, that's my grievance. Uh, let's jump into... Uh, I'll, I'll tell him. Right now, that, that's literally, that, that's my one thing. It's still relatively unknown what the initial pricing would have been for the dinosaurs at this black market event. But whatever it started out as, Spielberg just felt that the animals were being sold for way too much money, which is basically why they ended up getting sold for what they did in the final film. I should also note here that initially, this entire scene is said to have been scripted as an event where each individual species would have a set number attached to their name. But when J.A. Bayona came in, a lot of changes were made to Fallen Kingdom's script in order to tell the story that he personally wanted to tell, while also following the basic blueprint of what Trevorrow and Derek Connolly had laid out before. Other such changes would include the addition of the T-Rex blood transfusion scene, the opening attack on Isla Nublar, changing the location of the lagoon on the island, and even some additional retooling of Blue's surgery in the Arcadia. The decision to make the black market deal an auction and not an outright animal sell would be a change made amongst many changes to Trevorrow's initial plot. But even that early plot that Colin Trevorrow would create had a lot of creative input from Steven Spielberg early on. I'll probably go into all of the changes made to Fallen Kingdom's story in a wholly separate video, but to make a long story short, the bottom line is that Steven Spielberg actually still has quite a lot of say in what does or doesn't happen in a Jurassic movie. When he decided to change the prices of the dinosaurs, that was actually one of the smaller changes made to the story in the grand scheme of what he brought to the table. Everything written out and plotted by Trevorrow pretty much goes directly to Steven Spielberg, who then tells him what they can do and what they can't do. The first film of the trilogy that the two of them collaborated on together had a similar relationship involving the story. Most famously, where Spielberg decided against showing the Indominus Rex destroy the animatronic Tyrannosaur display due to a possible backlash from audiences. But yeah, basically, that's why the animals were priced the way they were in Fallen Kingdom. Personally, I never really cared that the dinosaurs were being sold for tens of millions of dollars, because from what I understand, most animal traffickers have extremely low prices in the real world. And it never really even registered in my head that the prices were low until somebody brought it up much later. But there were a ton of other people that felt very differently about that. Now, I'm curious to hear what all of you think about Spielberg's decision. Are you someone who agrees with Steven and thinks that these prices were correct? Or do you think he was way off on what the dinosaurs were actually worth? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my in-gen executives. 
I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It really means the world to me that all of you guys enjoy what I do so much, and I'm extremely thankful to have all of your incredible support. Now I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. See you all in the next one, guys, and as always, take it easy.